Well, we are now at Carol's RV. Uh, geez, I forgot the name of the place. Carol's. We are at Carolwood RV Park at Grateful Sisters Vineyard. This is our first morning here. And JP is cooking breakfast. It's a little humid, not bad, but not bad enough I'm not going to eat breakfast outside. So we got sausage. Where's my bacon? Oh, huh. bacon's under the aluminum foil. And he's going to fix me some eggs with spinach and some hot rotel. And that's going to be our first breakfast for our stay here. Oh. Should have filmed on the way down here in a tropical storm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was not really in the mood for filming with that storm <laughs> going on and the wind blowing us every which way on the road. But we'll talk to you later when we go check out some other parts of the park. Well, we're going to go finish registering and we're going to take the trash out. While we do that, check out a few things. Let's do this. Sites are not huge, but they're not small, small either. There's a nice size tent over there. We're going to go by the pool. They have a pool here. They have a winery and then they have a gift shop. I want to check out that gift shop. Maybe not right now, but sometime shortly. Oh, that's the pool behind it. And that's their event center right there at the front. They had an event last night, community event of some sort. There's the restroom facilities, Jesse. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the trash is. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll get back up in a few minutes. Well, I guess we found we were supposed to throw our trash. And while Jesse does that, give you a look. This is so cute when you just come in. There's the entrance. You come in, and on your left, you have this little wine tree. And... Um, I don't know what you call it, a little garden kind of thing. I don't know, cute though when you walk in the entrance. <laughs> and those are their vineyards, I guess, where they grow their grapes. I hope that's not the only grapes they grow. I don't know. It's the only ones I see. But they probably have some other land. I bet, I bet they uh, might have grapes. They might. Just Here comes the car the that showed us the way in last night. Grateful Sisters Vineyard, and it, the name of the park is Carol Woods RV Park. Alright, so you come in, that's on your left, and then you go through the driveway, and that's what you get. Pretty place when you first walk in. First get in. I mean, it's pretty all over. And that must be the house where the people stay at right there. I've seen a couple of girls coming from there and going to look like going to work. Alright, now we're gonna check out the pool and see what the pool looks like. Oh, 
laundry and books. Hmm. Pretty cool. Oh man, this feels nice right here. No place to sit down. A cornhole game. And there's your pool. Not big, but it's nice enough. Now we're gonna fix in the volleyball net. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. There's another one right there. And then there's your ice box. The drink machine. I assume it still works. So, dude, maybe not. Ice machine does. She said it did. We went in there and checked in. Nice, looks refreshing. While we were registering, we found out that the winery is owned by her mother-in-law and her sister, which are the Grateful Sisters. And then the RV Park is owned by her and her husband and the event center. It's family, but not yet kind of separate. I thought that was kind of cool, kind of interesting. There's, there's a big Jenga game. A real big Connect Four game. And then some nice little seats. I don't know what kind of game this is. Something different, I guess. Still a nice place. Secluded. As the lady said, far enough away from Myrtle Beach, but yet not too far. That was like a little chapel. Well, as we're coming back in, Jesse reminded me that there was a sign right here. I might want to get a picture of it. Oh, look at that. It's kind of cute. Welcome, Carol Woods. So that pool had a three foot to a five foot, right? Yeah, it was three feet on both sides of the pool, and then there was five feet in the middle. Okay. It's kind of cool. Not bad. Well, they're cleaning off top of their rig. There you go. Well, And it goes back that way. Let me push this out a little bit. You figured out? Yeah. It's got that. That's one road. Then this is another road right here. And then we live on the other road over there. <laughs> and then on the other side of our camper is another road. So it's kind of big. I don't know how many sites it has. Probably, I don't know, would you say 100 JP? 75? I want to hook it to the map on the Okay, go through here. Alright. Alright, so we're headed home, riding down the road, and Denise has got the, got the wheel now for the first time.